What's up guys, it's Ro here, bringing you guys another episode of the San Diego Flames My League 2K19 Expansion. Now today, we are gonna, um, think about doing picks, and first off, we, um, are gonna, I'm tempted to have this, yeah. I was gonna do. So, what I'm going to be doing today is that I am gonna face. Well, I am thinking about trades. <laughs> um, like thinking about sending some guys. Uh, no, not sending. Scouting some guy guys. And for the for the, the upcoming draft, and today we are going to face the Vancouver Ravens, who are a expansion team. And yeah, we just beat the Oklahoma City Thunder. Yep. So yes, guys, I understand that you probably are thinking, Raul, why did you pick? To face this team, specifically the Vancouver Ravens, where you could have picked any other team, such as the Cincinnati Lions, the San Diego Force, which the San Diego Force, the Cincinnati Lions, the Vancouver Ravens, and us, and the only four expansion teams. The reason why I wanted to face them. Let's see how talented they are against us. And to be quite honest, I'm going to put this right now. Because we have, like, two guys, Serge Ibaka and Dwight Howard. And let me tell you, Serge Ibaka is past his prime. I know what you may be thinking. That's Isaiah Thomas. Isaiah Thomas is um on the Ravens. Yes. Thing is about Serge Ibaka. I'm gonna like talk about this real quick. Before he was traded to the Orlando Magic, he was in his prime with Russell Westbrook when they lost a three to one lead against the. Golden State Warriors. And when he was traded to the Magic, who they traded to the Raptors. By the way, Magic, uh, Orlando, oh, Orlando Magic, I hate you. The Raptors just won an NBA Finals with Serge Ibaka, who was really good, with Kawhi Leonard, day two. Along with some young guys, just like won a NBA Finals in six games because the top two guys, Clay Thompson and Kevin Durant, were gone because of injuries. They lost. The Golden State Warriors lost. They have never, like, let me put it this way. They beat the Cavaliers in the first one, six. They lost with a 73-9 record in seven games after having a 3-1 to lead. Then they, lost, they won in five games. And then they swept in four games. Let me put it this way. The Golden State Warriors are not going to make the NBA Finals unless Steph Curry returns from his injury and doesn't have to, like, take a rehabilitation process for his foot. That's how serious this is. They're literally in the bottom, near the bottom of the conference, and if they, and if they could turn around their season, they are going to make the playoffs and at least have a chance 
and I'm saying this right now, at least have a chance at making the NBA Final or well, they might have a chance at making the playoffs, but if they can make the finals, that would be a great NBA turnaround we have seen so far. The only issue with that is, uh, I don't know if Steph Curry is going to perform well. Let me put it this way. According to Mike Corzemba, who is a great NBA basketball player, a uh, YouTuber, he stated that, that stated that the most, like the the big things that that like most NBA players do is in their primes, which is usually twenty three to thirty in like certain positions. And to me, personally, that is for Steph Curry. And the thing is about Steph Curry is that he is a two-time MVP, which is good. However, he's only won three championships and lost two NBA Finals. That's good. You're three out of five. However, you just got injured and your team has been derailed ever since you've been injured. That, okay, okay. That makes sense. Most, their record is almost the equivalent to an expansion franchise record. I mean, Without your top guy, who is like the corp piece and broken three, like at least a three pointer record, and he broke it, who set it on his own, is basically a god, or dare I say, not human. My Corsembo reference, so god. <laughs> He is a good YouTuber, not gonna lie. I might as well link into the description and tell you guys that he is a great NBA basketball YouTuber. <sighs> I did not have to say that about Serge Ibaka and Steph Curry, but at least they have won a championship. Now, on to the video. I'm sorry, but... Here we are taking on the Ravens, who are playing out of their minds. Now, thing is, is that I do not like this squad we're having at this current point. Here is the reason why. I have Serge Ibaka and JR. You may be thinking that's good, right? I do agree. However... This frustrates me really so much. Is that the fact that I only have that I have a very bad roster. They, Serge Ibaka and J.R. Smith, are the only two players that I have to build around. And evidently, I might trade Serge Ibaka. That's the thing. I hate him. Well, I don't hate him. It's just that he doesn't perform well in some games. And, well, if you've been watching the series, he is good. But the thing is, I don't like him. And I wish Serge Ibaka was here. I mean, if Serge Ibaka... I mean, we have Brandon Jennings, who is the, like, we, I can't even, yeah. That's how bad I am at NBA 2K19. I don't know how to do that. And I tried to, like, off-camera make a bunch of moves, like, do stuff before this game. It's just that it never works, and this is the battle of the expansion teams. Michael Kidd, Gilchrist, 
plays off his mind. And like I said before, I mean, I don't want to say it, even though I've been talking about Sir Chewbacca, I think I did trade him before or after this episode is over, before this episode started or after this, after this episode ended, after this recording, I think I decided to, you know what, I'm done with Sir Chewbacca. I can't use him, I can't play with him, and yeah, I'm done. Ah, uh, that's the problem with Sir Chewbacca. I didn't really like him, but the thing is, I do like Michael Kidd Gilchrist, who is going to become a free agent this year. Um, I don't know if I want to sign him, honestly, because of the fact that he's been considered a bust. However, the truth is, is that I do like him as a player. He's a really good guy, and he does put up good numbers, so. I might as well let him have, like, his way, because it's, I think it's time to move on from two guys who I, I do not like. And, like I said before, um, yeah, I did not like. Serge Ibaka, and I think it might see Serge Ibaka again. Caspi, oh god. He was um, playing out of his mind. Like, sure, the guys were playing out of their minds that I didn't even think about. And also getting fouls as well, because I didn't know how to steal. And that's my, pro that's my problem, honestly. So... Uh, a takeover ability has been activated, um, and yeah, I don't like that. I didn't like how the fact that I decided to, you know what, like, I didn't like any of this. Um, later today, I'm actually going to mention this, Madden 19 is going to come back. Uh, I really wanted that, so... Oh, JR is here. Oh, wait! Serge Ibaka is not there. Oh! I traded him. Yep, I I really wanted a pick. So, I decided to trade him. I know what you may be thinking, Raul. Really? Really? Well, uh, well, okay, I stated my reasons, and because I traded him for this episode, uh, this recording, so please understand, I really wanted this, so, we're down by 22 points, are you kidding me? Like I said, this is a bad roster, except for JR. And even with Serge Ibaka, we were still bad. In Game 5 against the Bulls, you probably saw the recording. We did good, but we lost. Which, that game was a typical game with expansion teams. I'm not joking. I did not like how we played. So... Frustrates me so much that, that I have to live with this. I have to, like, get through this. But we have Season 2. The off-season portion is going to be released today. And that is all I have to say for that. Because you're probably going to watch the third episode today. Which is not going to be the Mana video. I'm sorry about the Mana video. But... It's going to be game one of season two. And, yeah, I'm going to have to mention that right now because I am playing the final game. And I'm sorry. These are pre recorded because I do post commentary. So, I don't know what to say. So, there you go. And we are down 23 points. Yep. Yes, 23 points. 
I did not have a good coach. I, yeah, I didn't like it at all, so. We basically had to, like, do stuff like that, and we created turnovers. Uh, I tried to block. That was really bad of me. So, um, I actually am learning how to play NBA 2K19. It's really fun, honestly, because of the simple fact that I get to learn the game about some, uh, basketball and, <coughs> excuse me, and something I don't know about. And at this point, I was like, you know what, I can't deal with this. So, I decided to go into this mode. Where, um, yeah, I didn't want to play the game because of the simple fact that, um, look how much of the score difference is. I did not like that one bit, and I decided to, like, quit the game because of the simple fact that, I hated it. I really hated it. It's not something I usually say. Like, like, like I said before, I hate it. Like, I thought, like, our players would do well. Yeah, it's just not hard. It's not he easy, but, like, I, um... I just didn't like it at all because that's just not how we are. And I'm going to mention, like, some things right now. I do love y'all. Like, I keep seeing this every single video. But let me put it this way. I love y'all. I do care for y'all. I want to make sure y'all are safe. Um, It's not hard to, like, learn from me. Like... Yes, I do, like, act sometimes like a silly goose, but in the end, I do love y'all. Like, I I can do some things. Like, I really appreciate the love and support. I do love the fact that y'all are amazing. Like, you have so much support for me. It really means a lot. And I decided this, like, you will get some love for me. I do give love, I show it back, it's not hard, it's not easy, but, <sighs> but, I managed to do what it takes to be successful, sorry, I'm very sorry, but, um, yeah, um, yeah, I decided to do this. I, um, it's not hard, it's not easy, but, you know, like, that phrase, like, that I say, it's not hard, it's not easy, what I mean is, is that if you, if you think it's, like, easy, it, like, what you're gonna do, it's not hard, like, it's, and it's not easy, because, because of the fact that it's like in the middle base ground. But if you think like it's hard, you're gonna feel it. If if you think it's gonna be easy, then you're gonna feel it. So that's why I say it's not hard. And it's not easy. But or I like it's not hard, it's not easy, but that's like a phrase that I use a lot. And I think that phrase is a good phrase. As you can see, we just ended the game. Like I said, I was really disappointed in myself. The fact that I played, like, bad and I didn't know what to do. And, man, I did something really stupid. And that's my fault. And I admit that you're going to see something big next episode. So, also those coins can all is going to be used whenever I play. It's 
going to be used in my My Career series. So, that's why those coins are useful. Anyways, guys, thank y'all so much for watching. Y'all are the legends of my book, It Has For Me. I will see y'all in the off-season episode. Peace!